Hello and welcome to another update video about ADA. Um, yeah, as I said in the previous video, I'm in favor of ADA moving a bit higher from here into the direction of this wave B as indicated here into this target area. So we obviously started from down here with um, at the low at 40.3 uh, cents, 40.4. Uh, we started to move up. I gave you my view that this is an impulse and that we invalidated um, a few bearish patterns. Since then we moved up significantly, hit target here of wave one. Car are now coming down in a wave two. In my opinion, we've only seen the wave A so far. I made you aware in the previous video that we'll probably start to move up a little bit here into this wave B range. How did we calculate that? Well, from the high, we go to the low of the wave A and what I would expect as a minimum for the wave B would be the 38.2% FIP level of the wave A. So the 50.4 cent level while here staying intact for 47.6. So as long as 47.6 stays intact as a support, I would expect the 50.4 cent level as a minimum. If this is breaking then 51.2 and if this is breaking then 52.1. At the latest here, I would expect a move down in this scenario into the wave C range. And this is calculated based on the Fibonacci retracements. So we just take here the Fib retracements from down here from 40.2 cents. Yeah, oh, there you go. Just need to a bit more accurately. So, and then we look at, there you go. At a level for the uh, retracement, no, I did it the wrong way around. Let's just do that again. Yeah. So we would expect in this wave C then to reach the range between 47 and a half cents and 45.8. Ideally, that is sort of a good retracement level for a wave two after we've moved up in a wave one. So this scenario is still ongoing. Yeah, you can see that we are currently here um, creating um, possibly, I mean, we are, we are still in this, in this channel to the upside. So it could be that we are slowly moving up here that would fit a wave B. Yeah, a little bit of up and down and upward sloping channel, eventually hitting the 50.4 cent level and then moving down impulsively in a C wave. Yeah, that's certainly a possibility. But for now, you know, even if this wave two retraces more, maybe to the 78.6% FIP level at 43.4 cents, the uptrend would still remain intact. Um, I'd be quite confident that we can still move higher unless we go below 41.9 cents. That's the 88.7% FIP level that should hold. And if you hear strange noises, sorry, that is my chair. It's a leather chair. Um, but anyway, um, but yeah, that's the 88.7% FIP level. And here I would at the latest stage expect the, the wave two to reverse to the upside. If we go below that, it's just very unlikely that it's still a wave two and we could even drop below 40.3 cents. And then anyway, we're gonna make a lower low and could in that case then drop to 30 cents. That's the larger level, higher level, 88.7% uh, FIP level. But for now we can remain bullish against here the 47.5, 40 uh, 47.6 cent level in a wave B, but then we expect to move down. But as long as, as I said, the 41.9 is holding, we can expect higher prices in general, yeah, irrespective of any short-term volatility swings here. All right, and that's my view about ADA. Hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.